Itong ibanghelyong ating narinig ay binanggit ng ating Panginoon during His Sermon on the Mount. At dito is nasabi niya ang kalagahan ng pagiging reconciled with our brothers and sisters. Siguro ito isang bagay na madali tayo makarelate. Dahil at one point or another in our life, nakaka-experience tayo ng mga pagkakataong nagkakaroon tayo ng hindi pagkakaunawaan, ng hidwaan, o di kaya yung nagagalit tayo sa ating mga kasama dito sa mundo. At yung dahilan ay iba't iba. And sometimes, sa buhay natin, nahihirapan tayong muling ibalik yung dati nating relationship sa isang tao. Halimbawa, eh, nakagawa ng hindi maganda sa atin o hindi tayo nagkaroon ng pagkakaunawaan. Sometimes, despite our efforts, ang hirap ng ibalik ng quality ng dating relationship natin. Dahil kahit anong gawin natin, para bang naruroon pa rin yung sakit na ginawa na hindi natin malimot-limot. At dito pumapasok yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon sa simula ng Ibanghelyo. Sabi niya, Unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of God. So mayroong parang standard na ibinigay yung ating Panginoon. The scribes and the Pharisees. The scribes and the Pharisees were very observant people. They followed everything that was prescribed in the law. But that was not enough for Jesus Christ. Because if we are aspiring for holiness, we go beyond the requirements of the law. And one of those is in the aspects of forgiveness and the aspects of reconciling with our brothers and sisters. Kung binsan kaya tayo nahihirapan na magpatawad ay dahil hinihintay nating mawala yung sakit sa ating puso. But in our life, may mga pagkakataong hindi talaga nawawala yung sakit sa ating puso. So, papaano na lang, hindi na rin tayo magpapatawad. Dito sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, Your holiness should surpass that of the scribes and Pharisees. Because as followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to forgive all the time. Even if the pain is still there, especially when the pain is still there. And we can take the example of Jesus Christ when He was hanging on the cross. Habang nakatusok yung mga pako sa kaniyang mga kamay at paa, habang nararamdaman niya yung sakit, it was during that time that He said those most beautiful words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Hindi niya hinintay na mawala yung sakit ng mga pako. But right at that very moment when the pain was piercing, He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And in our life as disciples, we are called to follow the example of Jesus Christ. The pains that we experience in our lives sometimes do not go away quickly. And sometimes they remain with us forever. But despite that, we live with a pain knowing that that pain can sometimes lead us to our holiness. Especially when we learn to forgive, when we learn to reconcile with our brothers and sisters in the midst of the pain. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are invited, all of us, Jesus wants all of us to be in His kingdom, in the kingdom of heaven. And may we always be reconciled, may we always find ways to reconcile with one another so that we may not only surpass 
the holiness of the scribes and the Pharisees, but so that we may imitate Jesus Christ, our Lord.